Mike Kaplan with the Board of Elections says early voting for the Senate runoffs have not been as busy as it was for general election. According to the Board of Elections office, it doesn't matter whether you vote early or come January 5th. They say they will take their time to count all the votes. So far, we've had close to 18,000 people early vote. According to Kaplan, there were 34,000 early voters during the general election in November. As far as the number of ballots, well, the chairman says the Board of Elections received around 20,000 just like last month. We've already processed about 12,000. Kaplan says for the general elections, there was a 66% turnout with 17,000 people voting in person. I also caught up with State Representative Miriam Paris at the New Year New Senate tour as she supports Democrats Reverend Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff during the final week of early voting. She says people who were once silent are now finding their voice. We have seen some numbers where people that did not vote in November 3rd election are already have already voted. If you still have an absentee ballot, Paris says don't mail it in, take it to a ballot drop box. As a reminder, last day of early voting is Wednesday. All open from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And if you want to participate in early voting, there's still time. Head down to the Make and Bid Board of Elections office, the Lucas Senior Center, or the Theron Ursary Community Center. In Macon, Jatrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News.